Yo, Yo Yagami. Yagami. You sure, you sure it was cool to let that mommy and shit just go home? Yeah. yeah. Why? I mean, I mean she helped Kawana kill all those people. Aren't you going to turn, turn her in or something? Uh, I would. There's nothing, There's nothing we can do. Nothing, nothing we can do? Frankly, Frankly we, we don't have any proof of the murder she was talking about. What, what? so this is all for nothing? Nothing, nothing directly pointing to mommy anyway. Aside, aside from Mikoshiba, no other bodies turned up. Which means, which means all we can do is take her home, right? Sugiro is making sure she gets back safe. Fine, Fine. Forget, forget it. it. Why, are why are you still here? Everyone, Everyone else went home already. Come, Come on, man. man, why the cold shoulder? Am I really, really that annoying? You wouldn't, you wouldn't be the guy I called to hang out with. So if you're, so if you're done, you go. go. Wow. wow. Straight, straight, straight for the jugular, huh? But if it's, but if it's help, help you need, I'll be, I'll be there. I've got nothing but time lately. But only, but only, if, only if you bow your head and ask nice. Then I'll, then I'll consider it. <laughs> I know for, I know for a fact, fact you'd help me out regardless. So why, so why waste a good bow? Thanks for the, Thanks for the drink. Dude, Dude come, come on. on. That was, that was your cue to bow and ask nice.
So you're recommending an appeal. I have that right. Did some new evidence come to light? You and Mommy have told us some things. Like how you faked your alibi for Mikashima's murder. You wanted a sexual battery conviction, right? Well, your goal was to avenge your son and humiliate the law on a grand scale. I have no idea what you're talking about. Ahara-san, we have a much better grasp of the situation than you think. And what exactly have you grasped? Like, like Yagami-san just said, you're innocent. As far as, far as the harassment goes. As your, as your lawyer, I'll file for an appeal. And we'll, and we'll make sure the world knows it. Thanks, Thanks but, but no. no. I'm still, still on the earth. A pervert. A pervert. The prosecution, the prosecution and the judge made that very clear in the verdict. On the day, on the day of the crime, crime October 7, at around, around 6.30 a.m., you were, you were in Ichincho, not, not Tokyo. Tokyo. Alone. Alone. I was, I was relaxing at home. Except, except that you weren't. Oh. Oh. You, wanted you wanted to give the man who pushed your son to suicide the beating of a lifetime. And you'd, and you'd miss out on that opportunity if you were at home, which is why, why you were in Jinjo instead. Isn't that, Isn't that right? You and, you and Kawana's former student staked out Mikoshima's house until he left. Then you, then you dragged your prey into a car and brought him to an abandoned building in Jinjo, which would, which would later become a murder scene. Every, Every bone on Mikashima's fingers was broken. Remembering, Remembering how he pushed Toshiro Kun to his death, it's no, it's no wonder you'd go that far. You, you tortured Mikashima without a shred of remorse. You inflicted, you inflicted no small amount of pain and terror. terror. There's, There's no way you weren't there, and I, and I put my money on that. And then, and then and you need the whole play-by-play, play by play, play, even, though, even though you already know it? No, not, not at all. I'm just, I'm just fascinated, fascinated by this outrageous little story. story. As for, As for what, what you did next after beating, beating Mikoshima. Mikoshima. <laughs> it's it's quite, quite a home video. video. Without, Without leaving anything on Mikoshima's body that could be traced back to you, you slid his throat. Estimated, Estimated time, time of death was around 7.30 a.m. on October 7th. You tossed the bloody, bloody coat and you made your way to Ikebukuro Station, where you and Mame was waiting. Are you sure? Are you sure? I was at Ikebukuro by 7.30 a.m. It would have been impossible for me to kill Mikoshima and Nijinsho. The person in the security camera footage in Ikebukuro was a double imitating my likeness. The identity of whom belonged to Jin Kuan, the handyman in Jinjo. Maybe you know him by a different name. Former high school teacher Yu Kitakata. So which name did he give you? I don't know who you're talking about. With Kawana in view of the security camp, you met up with Yui Mami at Ikebukuro first. That's where you touched the undergarment she had prepared. The police would later discover the trace evidence on your hands and pin the groping on you. Then you, then you made your way to Shinjuku Station. After that, Mami and Kawana acted out the groping as they arrived at Shinjuku Station. Kawana jumped out of the train and Mami had chased after him. And then, the smallest of blind spots in the station absolutely packed with cameras. You were waiting for Kawana, who looked just like you. With the, With the two of you mentioned, you were able to swap places in that huge crowd without anyone noticing. Kawana handed you the transit card used to pass the ticket game. Just one piece of hard evidence that places you and Ike Bukuro at 7.43 a.m. Right after the swap, Mamiya started calling for help. After that, we've all seen how the news reported it. You were caught in a public place with plenty of witnesses. An active, An active duty police officer arrested for sexual battery. The public outcry was very clear. As a result, despite it being your first offense, you were actually tried and convicted. The consensus is that it was a fitting punishment for someone so heinous. Even as your lawyer, I felt the same. Have some confidence in yourself, Hirosaki Sensei. 
prosecution, prosecution judge, judge, and a lawyer like you all laid out the evidence in court and found me guilty. I'm in no, I'm in no position to doubt. And I've, and I've long accepted the ruling that social rules never, never bullied. There's nothing, There's nothing I can do but abide by, by the rule of law. Right. right. That's all, That's all I, I can do. do. Right? right? I, know I know what you're trying to say. Carried, carried out the justice that the courts wouldn't, right? Everything, Everything my son went through passed, passed off like it never even happened. School. Teachers. Yes, yes the court. They all, they all dismissed the reason he died. That's when, when Kawana came in the picture, telling, telling you Toshokuna had been bullied. But was it, it Kawana's words that suddenly made you want to kill Mikushima? Because, because all of his fingers, fingers were broken while he was still alive. Was that, was that really all just a pent up rage? What do you have to say, Harazan? Sawa Sensei was the one who told you the truth. She was the only person who should have confided in. It had to have heard from her. Right? Nearly hit the nail on the head. Let me see. Sensei's words, I finally understood. They pushed my boy over the edge. Was there no other evidence of the bullying? Like a diary of Toshiro-kun's, or something of the sort? Nothing. Toshio never talked to me or my wife about the bullying. And that was probably all my fault. He was bullied in middle school, too. Kids would throw his pencil case around hide his books. When I heard about it, I chewed him out. They walk all over you because you're weak. Grow spines, I told him. I take it that was the wrong approach. Yeah. <sighs> I can't imagine how much courage it took for him to come forward about his suffering. I'm sure he felt ashamed about it. I should have listened when he pleaded for help. I should have told him I was proud of his bravery. But instead, I pushed him away. And in the end, Toshio tried to make sure he never showed weakness to us again. No matter how much pain he was in. He went to a private school out in Yokohama. Because he hated living there. But in the end, he still suffered. And that's why you didn't hesitate to unleash hell on Mikushiba. If you say so. So the first time Kawana showed up was when he let you listen to the phone call with Sawa Sensei, right? Yes. He approached me and asked me if I still wanted justice for my son. I was in uniform when he came to me, too. Very bold. But it paid off. I owe him a debt of gratitude. He reassured me he had already taken care of multiple individuals like Toshiba, and that he'd urged other families to avenge the children they lost to bullying. He'd tell them that simply being branded a bully wasn't enough. He promised to deliver real justice. If justice can be served at one's own discretion, laws would cease to serve their function. 
If the law isn't clear to everyone, no one will obey it. The law is only able to help the powerless because it can't be swayed by money, force, or anything else. Then tell me, what's the solution when the law fails to punish someone who laughs in its face? To overlook those the law won't judge is to abandon those the law couldn't protect. To render justice with confidence, you require sufficient evidence. Some of the victim's families refused Koana's offer of revenge, telling him it would be unforgivable. But even after rejecting his offer, not a one reported Kuangsan to the police. Do you understand what that implies? Whether you follow through with revenge or not, Kuanasan presents a solution that resonates with people. Being that the law is unfair and imperfect. Am I wrong about that? No, you're not. But we're fighting to make it as fair as we can. Laws have to change until they are perfect. They don't change fast enough. Kushiro's death was murder by another man. Yet, Kuro made Kushiro walk free. Even got to enroll in a teaching program as a student teacher. Someone like him? It's insane. I'd die of old age before the law was ever written to be fair enough. But Koshiro, I can't turn a blind eye to a world where the Mikoshibas can live without consequence. <sighs> what alternative was there to getting blood on my hands? I didn't have any other choice. Yagami-san, did he just... This is the first time you've admitted to killing Mikoshima. You really did your research, unlike those useless cops. Wanasan's plan was impressive. expect it to be unraveled so quickly. I just got lucky. There was some dirt on Yui Mamiya that Kuana could have used against her. If we hadn't found him, there's no way